talking about your painting. Yeah, I like it. Uh, it reminds me of your dad hunting for diamonds in Africa. There's a boat I see. And, oh, that's me. It's me with the hat. Well, no, I mean, that that's me with the hat, and that's Sarah, and we're, you know, hunting for diamonds. She's my third, Isaac. Right, well, obviously. I'm, I'm sorry, what are you talking about? Sarah, my youngest. She's my, my baby. No, Sarah is uh, the precious. She is everything to me, sir. Boy, has not been a cakewalk raising three daughters. Hmm. You know Ruby is a lesbian. Right, that's okay. Of course it's okay. No, I mean, of course. That's... And uh, Liza married that Maasai gentleman. Oh, yeah, Jock. What are your plans, Isaac? I'm sorry? It's been a year since you graduated from college. You've been seeing Sarah. I've been speaking to your mom. I think it's time we made some decisions. What are your plans? Uh, me and Sarah were thinking about going to Africa, uh, Bhutan mainly, to, I guess, in essence, uh, hunt for diamonds. I think you know that's not a real ah. plan. Ah. I have an idea for you. I have a real plan. I think you should marry Sarah. I think you should work for me here. Why don't you stop right fucking there, mister? Uh. This is a brilliant plan, my boy. Look at your face, just breathe. God, you know, I could give you a helicopter right now if I wanted to, you little sparkler. You're gonna have a racquetball court in your office. In your office, Isaac. I'm really excited. Good. Breathing. Hurry up. You're gonna be perfect. Hurry up. Okay. Have a good afternoon, sir. Leave the penny. You like to call me that. How was lunch? Great. Your dad and I had like a really like sort of a bonding. He's he's got some great plans. And what'd you guys talk about? Everything? Ragaball? I found a hostel in Namibia. For us to stay. Bhutan? Mm -hmm. yeah. I still I don't know. I know who knows if we're gonna have time to uh to do that sort of stuff, right? Are you okay? Yeah, could we just throw the boomerang around, maybe? But the ballet's it's starting in a minute. I know, I know. And there's nothing better. Come on, let's go. Ballet with my sweetheart. I am not losing you to the mines. This is why you summoned me down here at, at 4 a.m. I mean, what about me? I'm your mother. You want me living in a tenement in Spanish Harlem? I'm just trying to help you. You need medicine again? You want me to call Dr. Bloor and set up an appointment? Dr. Bloor? I haven't seen him since I was 10 years old. I'll be at the brunch tomorrow. All our closest friends will be at the brunch. The marriage. It's going to be gorgeous. I'm so excited for you. sweet boy. You can play games, you can, you can take meetings, you can do whatever the fuck you want. I'm already, I'm already having one set up downstairs just like this. I, I was, no, I, I was still thinking I was going to go to Bhutan. I can't hear you. I'm sorry, what? I was thinking about going to Bhutan with, with Sarah to still visit, visit my father. Oh, yeah. Oh, God damn it. Come on, I'm in a meeting with my future son. No, child! 
Top of the salad. Top it. Sorry. Hold this. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Your father's dead, Isaac. Oh, no. He's, he's alive. Yeah. Uh, listen to me. He went to Africa, he lost his mind to search for diamonds, and he died. There is no Africa. We don't do things like that. We have plans for you, Isaac. Don't look sad. Oh, my boy! My boy! Okay. You're going to make an announcement. You know, I've known Isaac for 12 years. We used to meet every Wednesday after school for one of our insightful chats. I've watched you develop from your dreams of being an astronaut, exploring the asteroid fields of Alderaan, to your present ambition of following in your father's footsteps, exploring the darkest jungles of, I, I, actually, I, I don't know where. But this morning, just this morning, I saw two hummingbirds hovering above my windowsill looking for the nectar of life only to find a uh, wood and glass. And I shooed them away into the world looking for love and life. And I assume that today perhaps we are shooing our own two into the world looking for love and life. So let me just say, to life. Thank you, Dr. Bloor. What a beautiful, beautiful, full speech. Thank you. You always, uh, always have been a guru to, to Isaac, especially since his father checked out. And now I believe it's time for the young prince himself, Isaac, to make an announcement. Isaac. Hit it. Come on, son. We're waiting. Uh, hi. My name is Isaac, and um, I'm getting, I'm asking uh, this little girl who is Sarah, uh, I guess everybody knows, uh, to get married. As if, as if, as if that's what she wants, um, because she knows that I'm fat and I have bad hair, but it doesn't matter that I'm fat because we love each other and everyone is talking about, oh, hooray uh, for, for the, the beautiful hummingbirds and your crocodile glasses. Dr. Bloor, I don't, I don't understand because everyone needs to relax a little bit and stop talking about this. I'm going to Africa, actually, that that was the plan because he's not dead. I feel like you guys are, 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 are not, you're like evil fucking fuckers who are drinking these little orange things of shit. And I need to go outside right now. And I, I, I hate you. Oh shit. 